All right, Gemini, welcome in. This is your January 2024 reading. Let's see where we go for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just see the home card here. What is going on for my Geminis? Please, Gemini. All right, darlings. Wow, healer. Maybe you're finding a healer or finding a teacher this year. Uh, gratitude and death. Big change happening and magic. Okay, so this is a change, a positive change. Um, there's something that has been um, needing healing and that's opening up the opportunity for change or something new in your life. Uh, I feel like there's a, a, a need for gratitude or you're going to feel like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I'm so lucky. I am so grateful. Okay. I, I just feel that some of you are healing your heart and that is allowing love in. Some of you are letting go of love that has been um, over. Okay. Some of you are letting go of a relationship that has been over for a while and you're going to feel the energy of gratitude. Okay. It's going to feel really good. So let's see where we're going. Where are we going? The nine of cups. This is a wish granted card. We've got the knight of swords. This is happening faster than you think. The wheel of fortune, the two of pentacles. There's the healing energy of the four of swords and the three of pentacles could be dealing come on over here, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Cancerian or a Sag, someone who's on a new path. Okay, there you are with this magician. So you're dealing with someone who's now on a new path. It's kind of like they don't have their sea legs yet, but I feel like you've put in a lot of time and effort, um, Jem, towards um, something that's good for you. This is Sagittarius. This is Jupiter energy. And I feel like you're healing the energy of relationship, feeling the energy, healing the energy of what it means to have a good relationship. And for some of you, it's like you choosing you. Like, when are you going to choose you? When is it going to be about what you want? When is it going to be about you, your wish granted? When is that going to be? And some of us, you know, choose um, directions that are not capable of giving us what we want. Some of us, because we want it to be in that direction, but I'm really getting the feeling that this is going to be, this is someone that you want um, to be in your life. This is someone who's been on the fence or who's been, who's been in another connection or something like that. And I just get the sense of like, you're healing your heart because you're really choosing yourself, which is lovely. There's that Empress energy. That's beautiful. Eight of swords. Three of Swords, Healing the Heart, Healing the Heart, Nine of Swords, wow, Moon. We just had a full moon in Cancer, Page of Swords, messages that have come through that full moon in Cancer. What are the messages? The um, Aquarius energy of the star, that's a healing energy. Here you are, there's the Lover's card and the page of cups. So there's definitely some new messages coming through here. I feel like something changed that new moon or the full moon, sorry, full moon in cancer brought in some messages. Okay. Brought in some reality, brought in some things, brought things to the fore, brought everything to the forefront for somebody. All right. So why is the eight of swords here? Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the world. Um, huh. I just feel like some of you have spent a lot of time and effort helping another person. It's coming from a place of passion and heart. I feel like you have a fear. There's some kind of fear around this. So what you're doing is you're manifesting based in fear, and that's going to bring more fear. That's going to bring more energy of, 
of low vibe. And that's the thing you're healing. That's why you're healing your heart. It's like, it's gotta, if you're manifesting love, it's gotta come from a place of love. It can't come from a place of fear. Like, oh, I hope I'm not alone the rest of my life. Like it can't come from that place. It's gotta come from a place of love. And it can only come from a place of self-love. So you finally, you finally are choosing you. I feel like there's some of you who are finally choosing you. And what's gonna happen with that is it's going to move the chess pieces around so that love can come in. The king of cups and the fool. This person may have been taking their sweet ass time because you weren't choosing yourself. Time to choose yourself. That's the energy of love. If you're not choosing yourself, who is going to choose you? Or if you want to be chosen, you must choose yourself first. So what is this message that's coming through this full moon in Cancer that we just went through? Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and the Death card. Yeah, big change here. We got the Death card here twice. Could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, and... I feel like the message of creativity, of building something new, I almost feel like you thought this would never come. Like you weren't going to ever get a chance to be in a situation that was this um, abundant, that was like the answer to your prayer. I almost feel like because you were in an energy of fear around asking, like what if that means that something ends? It's something is ending. And I think that's what you've been afraid of, that something is ending or that you don't want to hurt somebody or something like that. What is the fear here? Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Page of Wands. I feel like you were afraid that um, either you were sitting in the energy of not good enough. Hmm sitting in that energy of not good enough or feeling like love never comes to me. But I want love universe, but I'm not choosing myself. So it's time to choose yourself and love flows to you. Something a little bit different uh, before I keep going here. Um, let's talk about the um, this energy of the wheel of fortune because I almost feel like there's some kind of magical shift that's happening. Some kind, right? We got the magic card. We've got this magic card. Some kind of magical shift that's happening, that's healing. And I've been talking about you choosing you and, and 100%. Um, but I feel like what's the twist? It's almost like you get, you vent. Some of you could vent your anger. Some of you uh, at a person or at a situation. Some of you could stop uh, taking it stop dealing with someone who's toxic what is the what is the change here what is the shift six of swords be willing to leave the table six of swords ten of wands high priestess and the hanged man okay so be willing to walk away be will be willing to call the bluff if you are trying to appease or make things better, or go in directions that are not really calling out the truth of things. I don't think that's going to work. I think you do have to. Um, I think you do have to align with the energy of truth. So just you do you. Don't worry about this other person. Don't worry about what they're doing. Don't try to align your decisions so that it works for them. Like you need to stop doing that. You really need to focus on your own healing, your own choosing of self, all of those things. Um, this energy of the star and the lovers, this is about healing our inner child because that page of cups is there too. So why is the star and the lovers here? I know that's your card, but we got healing here a couple times. Ace of cups, emperor, queen of cups, ace of wands two aces. So a brand new beginning. 
Now, let me just say this to you. Some of you are going in the direction of a new person, a, a, a you know, a, a twin flame or a person from your uh, soul family, soulmates. Some of you are dealing with being in a relationship that is kind of like, um, I don't know, kind of like walking on eggshells or I'm afraid to do things that are going to be good for me because what if that separates us more? And I think that that's a fool's errand. I think your job right now is to focus on you, focus on taking good care of you, focus on healing you. And I will say this, let the chips fall where they may. So whether a person decides to stick around or choose you is kind of not your job. That's for the universe to sort of sort out. What you're looking to do here is manifest, let's say the love of your life or manifest um, wealth, new beginnings, uh, you know, opening up to this beautiful energy of the nine of pentacles and 10 of pentacles, right? Like really stepping into that. And the only way you can do that is to be Aries is the energy of taking action on one's own behalf from one's heart. Some people may call that selfish. And I think that's a thing that you, I feel like there's some codependent energy here and I just feel like you need to do you. All right. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. I'll pull cards for each Zodiac sign to see who we're dealing with here. Uh, the link is below Gemini, January, 2024. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.